Hey guys, welcome to Coding Simplified and today we will see that how to merge two linked list. So let's say we have one linked list uh, which have nodes 12, 9 and 37 and another linked list we have where we have the nodes 45 and 8. Now we have these two linked list and uh, we want to merge them. So one way is very simple that you just uh, you just put the next node of this last node because last node of this is pointing to null. So you can simply point to the uh, last node of this one to the first node of head two, right? So by this way, you can simply uh, merge two linked list, but that is very easy and generally interviewer don't ask these type of questions. So what they want basically, they want to merge the linked list in such an order that they are in increasing order, right? Or uh, like sorted linked list. So if you if you uh, see the output, so output should be something like this. There should be one linked list, and the output should be eight, then nine, then twelve, then thirty-seven, and then forty-five. So that is all we want when we merge to linked list. Okay. So let's see what we will write in our function. So here we have written uh, a merge list function where we are passing the two linked list heads. Okay and now go to the function so what we are saying here that we need to first sort the both linked list right because if they are in unsorted order because we don't know that in what order they are if they are in uh, unsorted order then first we need to sort the both linked list so we will sort the both linked list using the merge sort because merge sort is very effective and very efficient and it has the least complexity so uh, in my last tutorial i i did the sorting program using the merge sort so you can go there and you can see that how we can sort a linked list but still let's see that what i have written in this so i won't go in deep in merge sort but yes little bit we can see so in merge sort what we see what we do generally because let's say we have an element so we first pick the n by 2 element and then again again recursively we pick the ny2 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 until we find the null element so at last generally we merge the two element right and then and then they are sorted then again we merge the rest to linked list then again we merge the two linked list so i know that uh, you can't uh, understand in this uh, in the short description so please see my last tutorial of sorting the linked list where i have fully explained how you can sort the linked list using merge sort right okay so let's again back to the our function so i will first merge i will first sort the two linked list and then i will merge them right so what i'm doing basically because i have two uh, sorted linked list right so i have taken a sim i have taken a uh, i have taken a temporary node and this is my final list so i will be at the end i will be passing i will be using this so until uh, until any one of link list is null the last node is null i'm traversing them right so if a is not equal to null b is not equal to null and i'm checking the values that if a dot if a's value is less than b's value so i is what i is basically the integer because each node each node contains the one integer and another is a link right so that is that i so I'm checking that if AI is less than BI, then temporary dot next should A. So this temp should, uh, so the temp dot next should point to A and A dot and A equals to A dot next. So now A will jump to the next position. And if it is, uh, if A is greater than, then this thing will happen that first we'll store the B. So what we'll do, we'll do temp dot next equals to B and B will jump to next position. And then again, we'll uh, point to next equals to temp dot next, right? So we will continuously do it until we find the uh, like let's say if if a finishes early then we will uh, at the end we will just point to the b so that is how we are doing temp dot next equal to if a is equal to null then point b as point a and at the end we are returning final list dot next right so that is how we will do our uh, function so let's see that whether it is uh, fulfilling all the things or not so let's put a debug point okay so these are my two linked list and let's put a debug point here right so let's 
debug it, start the function. So these are two linked list. One is 12937 and second is 45 and 8. Now I want to merge them, right? So go to the function. So this is our merge list and A. You can see this is our 12, 9 and 37 and this B is B is 45 and 8, right? So first merge sort them. Okay. And now again come to B. So now it has come to the merge. So now if you see both linked list, so if you see A, so now it is sorted. It is 9, 12 and 37. And if you see the second link list, it is again sorted 8 and 45, right? Earlier it was not sorted. So now we have taken one temporary node and this is final link list. And now we are checking that if uh, A is not equal to null, B is not equal to null. After that temp will point to tank nest. Then again it will traverse the function. So iteratively it will check the both the link list and whichever item is less it will put in the in the temp dot next and then it will jump to the next position right so this is how it will track both the link list and this is doing all the operations and after that when is finishes then after that it will point to next so if you see the final list so what is this this is zero next because this was a temporary node now 8 then 9 then 12 then 37 and then 45 right so this is how we have uh, we have merged the the both link list in a sorted manner and after that we will return this this will also return and now if you see the printed link list so you can see now it has put in the sorted manner so there is one point to note that uh, the, the items are different for both the link list but let's say we have one item which is common to all or let's say we have items so we have eight in this link list too and so it's up to us that what we want if you want to keep both the items in the link list and run the program so you will see that it is coming at the first 8 8 12 37 45 but if you don't want that right you want only one item to be present and if they are more than uh, one element then just ignore them then you need to make some change in your link list so this is merge link list now we need to make changes in it to merge right so what we want that whenever the items comes so let's say if ai is coming if ai is less than bi else this one right so what we'll do we'll put a one check to then if this else if ai if a dot i is greater than v dot i right and then do this else else means if they are equal right because this can be equal so that is our uh, that is our point so what we will do we will temp dot next equals to a because both items are same so we won't do this now a dot next now do this and now we'll also jump the b2 right because we know that both are uh, same you know a and b b both are same so we'll both point to the next node so that is how we'll skip them right and now that's all so if you run the program again okay it is giving me the exception okay the point is i haven't changed this be my mistake so if you run the program again so now you can see that we have uh, we have eliminated the duplicated duplicate it so that is how we can remove the duplicate items if you want right so this is how we can merge a two link list in a arranging order or in a increasing order in a sorted order right so that's all for this tutorial and thanks friends for watching the video and please subscribe the channel for more such videos. Thank you.